Yo, what's going on? I told you I'd be back. Look, man, I'm excited about this video. I think I'm about to blow some people's minds with this one, okay? So look, we got our RMR. We know what our resting metabolic rate is, okay? We kind of got an idea about, you know, what it takes to get your RMR, what kind of activity levels you're on, what you guys are already doing. So on this video, and I'm gonna try to make it quick, but I gotta hit a couple things on this one, man. On this video right here, which, in my opinion, is probably the most detailed and also probably the most important one we've done so far. We're really gonna get into your macros, how many you're gonna need to do what you need to do. It's gonna be good, man, I'm excited. I don't know what to tell you, I'm excited. Let's just get right to it, let's get right to it. All right, first off, counting macros, counting macros. Maybe you've heard it said a couple of different ways. Of course, you know your macronutrients are your macros. Another term for it is called flexible dieting. You might have heard that floating around some places and then other people, hey, if it fits your macros, right? If it fits your macros, if you can make it fit into what your goals are gonna be, then you can do that, okay? I want you to keep in mind the most important word, flexible, man, flexible, flexible, flexible. Listen, none of us, none of us, not me, not top fitness pro, not that person that you're watching that you're thinking is the shit, not some Hollywood A-list actor, not some top athlete, not the person working out next to you. None of us are doing the same thing every day, okay? None of us are doing the same thing every day. Some days we're eating more, some days we're eating less. Some days we're working out more, some days we're working out less. Some days we're doubling up, some days we ain't doing shit, okay? Keep that in mind. Your ability to be flexible, your ability to adjust, your ability to go with the flow, I guess you will, but also more importantly, and you gotta hear me say this shit, man, your ability to plan ahead of time is gonna dictate whether or not you accomplish what you wanna accomplish with this, okay? All right, so here we go. Your macros. Listen, we already know the big three. You guys hear me say it all the time. You hear me talking about the PFC. You hear me talking about it. So you got your protein, you got your carbs, and you got your fat, okay? Now listen, what you need to know about that is for every one gram of protein, there's four calories. For every one gram of carbohydrates, there's four calories. For every one gram of fat, there are nine calories, okay? Now listen, in the blue, you might not be able to see it because the marker was messing with me a little bit, right? But listen, there's a fourth one. There's a fourth, and it's important, especially for the adult, especially for the adults. Now, if you're from French George like me, you know, you've been doing this since 13, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get in your business, all right? But look, alcohol, listen to me when I say this to you. You're being flexible, we're being flexible. If you drink, if I don't, I'm not saying you're a fall down drunk man, I'm not saying you got a problem. You like to drink a couple. You wanna have one a night too? I don't care what you do, man, you're your own person. You have got to factor that in to anything that you're doing on this list, okay? I'm gonna say it one more time for you, I'm gonna look you in the camera. You have got to factor that in on all of this, okay? Flexible dieting. Alcohol, if that's part of your life, You've got to find a way to mix that in. People who've been in here training with me for a while, you've heard me say that before, man. Like, and then there are other folks that'll say, well, you know, you, it counts more as like a carb. Nah, not really, man. That alcohol is really kind of empty. You might look at those nutrient labels and they might toss you some shit in there. Let me tell you something. When it comes down to actually what a macro does and what you want it to do for you and your diet, you got to watch out for it. I'm not saying alcohol is fucking bad. Nothing necessarily inherently good or bad, but for the goals that you have, especially if you're really particular and you're really trying to accomplish something, if you're one of my 80-20 people, if you're a 90-10 person, you sure as hell ain't doing this. That is not in your, in your plan. If you're 70-30, hey man, you know you got a little leeway, rock out, you know what I'm saying? But listen, you gotta take that into account, okay? So when you're talking about your macros, your balance is everything. I know I wrote that right here. Listen, balance, 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 man. I'm a balance person. I always talk about balance. I like Star Wars, man. You gotta bring some balance to the force, all right? With your life, you need to have some balance, okay? So listen, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna ask you, what are your goals? Right here, man, look, what, what do you wanna do, all right? If, if you're trying to be a fitness model, this needs to be precise. If you're getting ready to get on the stage and you're doing the show, 
this needs to be precise. If you're trying to lose weight for an event, if you're trying to get in shape for your birthday, if you want to get into this dress, if you're getting ready for a wedding, you're getting ready for an anniversary, um, you're gonna to have to be really particular about your macros, man. You've really got to understand that if you're trying to hit certain goals, then certain things are gonna to have to be cut out. One of them is probably gonna be alcohol. Or you're really gonna to have to severely restrict how much of that you're taking in because it really has no nutritional value for you. What it is gonna do is add some calories to that ass, all right? That's why you see so many people drinking like uh, White Claws and Trulies and you know, zero, like 100 calorie Michelob. Man, don't ever show up to a cookout with a 100 calorie Michelob. Get out of here with that shit. You wanna come to a cookout, man, bring something that everybody can drink and have a good time with you. Count your macros later, okay? But anyway, back to it. The reason I say that, when you talk about your macro values, Depending upon what you, what's going on, what your goals are, if you're trying to gain weight, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to maintain, listen, if your macros are working, your appetite's gonna be under control, okay? If your macros are working, you're gonna have a lot of energy throughout the day. You're gonna be able to balance yourself out because you're getting those carbs in, okay? Remember, carbs are our energy source, right? You're getting your protein, you're getting your fat. Your mood, you're gonna be in a decent ass mood unless somebody pisses you off, right? Because you're not hangry. How many of y'all, like, like, think about the, the days where you bust your ass in the gym, the days that you're out here busting your ass doing your walks, my people who like to run and things like that. Think about those days, and then think about when you don't get enough calories in. Think about when you don't get that meal, or you skip that lunch, or you missed that snack, or you didn't get enough of what you want. Think about how pissed off you get at little things, right? That's gonna affect your mood, your fatigue, and your gym performance. How many of y'all come in here, say my afternoon people, and you've been working all day. You've been busting your ass all day. You get in here, maybe you didn't eat lunch, maybe you ate something small. We're lifting weights, we're doing deadlifts, you know, we're doing squats, and you get halfway through your workout and you're just like, man, like, yo, B, I just ain't got it today. Yeah, well, that's, those are your macros. That's why they gotta be on point. And listen, I've heard more than two or three women ask me this question, and it's a good question. And we're gonna address that in a video later down the road, but, Today, listen, your macros are gonna affect your hormones. They're gonna affect your hormones, particularly if you're talking about alcohol, okay? You're talking about alcohol, that's gonna affect you. That's gonna affect your ability to metabolize your food. And I even drew an arrow right here because it is important, man, because like I said, once again, I'm not telling you don't drink. What I'm telling you is, is to be cognizant of what's happening. And so alcohol blocks fat burning while you're drinking, okay? So it's gonna speed up the rate in which your body stores dietary fat as body fat, okay? So, you know, if you're drinking, you got something going on, you got some goals, you wanna get in shape, you wanna to tone up, just know that when you're drinking that alcohol, I don't care whether it's a 100 calorie Michelob, I don't care whether it's a White Claw, whether it's a Truly, at a hormonal level, that is still affecting you, okay? Alcohol is a depressant. That is, that is slowing you down, okay? And your body is going to store that as fat. Yes, I want you to move. Yes, I want you to work out. But you just have to know it's going to affect you, okay? Now listen, all that being said, all that being said, man, we gotta figure out how many calories we need per day in order to get to our macros, okay? So we gotta figure out exactly what it is that we need to do how much food we need to take in, and in some cases, how much alcohol you can take in or shouldn't be taken in in order to get our goals, okay? So that's gonna move me over here, and I'm gonna be over here for a while so you guys can see this, all right? All right, so we're gonna start with our RMR, our resting metabolic rate, okay? If you watched the last video, hopefully you did. If you haven't, it's up, go check it out. It's great, good looking dude, super daddy on shirt, can't miss him. All right, now look, out of all the things on this side, I want you to hear me say this. This right here is only gonna change occasionally, okay? It's only gonna change occasionally. So, look at your formula, okay? So, for men, to calculate your RMR, this is how many calories your body is burning while you're at rest, okay? You're not working out, you're not running, you're not walking, you're not fucking doing jujitsu. You're not, I don't know what everybody does, man, but you're not doing that, okay? You're, you're, you're living your life, all right? For men, this is the formula you're gonna use, and it is the Mifflin, and I believe the French word is Saint-Joal. 
formula, okay? So if you need to look it up, that's the formula, and that's to get your breast and metabolic rate, okay? And that is going to be 9.99 times your weight plus 6.25 times your height in inches, okay? In inches, you gotta convert, okay? Minus 4.92 times your age plus five. That is the men's formula that is particular for men, okay? So listen, I'm gonna get back to the ladies. If you're a dude, if you're a dude, you're 225 pounds, you're six foot two, and you're 35 years old. If you're that guy, if you're that dude, this is your calculation for what you need. Every other dude, put your numbers in there, man. Every other dude, put your height, put your weight, put your age in there, do the formula. If you're this guy, you're 225 pounds, you're 6'2", you're 35 years old, the number comes out to be 2,520.55. That is your resting metabolic rate. That is how many calories you are burning just being alive. Just being alive, not doing shit else, just, open, just opening your eyes in the morning and just existing out here on this third rock from the sun that we live on. That's what you're doing, okay? Now, ladies, formula's a little bit different, okay? So it's still the 9.99 times your weight, okay? It's still the 6.25 times your height in inches, okay? But we're gonna subtract 4.92 times your age, and instead of it being the plus five, it's minus 161, okay? So listen, if you're a lady, you're 160 pounds, you're five foot two, and you're 30 years old, if that is who you are, if that is your avatar, with this formula right here, your resting metabolic rate is 1,972.50. That is your RMR. You are alive, sis. You're not doing anything else. You're not working out. You're not, you just up. You're just up. Living your life, walking around, going to the car, going to the store, going to work, climbing the stairs, playing with the kids, hollering at your girls, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's your number. Keep these numbers in mind, okay? Because once again, you, I, I, unless you know some shit that I don't know, you're not gonna get any taller in life. If, if you could, I would've tried this shit a long time ago because I'm still down here, all right? Your weight, your weight can't fluctuate. Your weight can fluctuate with our activity levels, whether we're really active, whether we're in, inactive. So yeah, your rest and metabolic rate can change. That's gonna depend upon what your ass is doing, okay? And of course, your age is gonna change. So at least once a year, you're gonna plug those numbers in, they're gonna be a little bit different, okay? So listen, but we're gonna say that RMR for the most part is gonna be pretty constant, okay? So keep that in mind. That's one part of your equation. So now you have your resting metabolic rate. So everybody who's like, man, how many calories am I burning just being alive? For the average person, for the average person that has that, that that's your avatar, that's it, okay? Now, now we're gonna get into the fun part. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. All right, so your total daily in energy expenditure, and I knew that I would stumble on that because as I was going over this video, I kept fucking stumbling over it. There it is, I owe myself like a donut or something. All right, so your TDEE, that is gonna be your resting metabolic rate, boom, this avatar, just for this avatar. So for you, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be your RMR plus the calories that you burn during physical activity, listen to me say this. 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 This is going to change every single day. Okay? So, if there's a day when you're, you work out in the gym. You come in the gym, you work out, we burn, we burn 600 calories. And then you go walk and you burn another 400 calories. That's not gonna be the same as the next day where you don't work out at the gym, but you just go walk. That's gonna be different from the day that you do work out at the gym and you don't go walk. That's gonna be different from the day that you don't do anything at all except live your life and enjoy your life without doing any of that, okay? So you have to keep that in mind when we're talking about this, okay? So listen, let's go back to our avatar. So if you're, if you're avatar man number one, avatar man number one is 225 pounds, He's 6'2", he's 35 years old, okay? So he comes in and he does a workout. His workout, he burns 700 calories in his workout, okay? That's one aspect of what he did. Now, if he's doing the program at Massive Performance, which is a great fitness challenge and is also a great gym full of great people, by the way, I suggest you come by. All right, 
and he walks and he burns 400 calories on a 45 minute to an hour walk, okay? That's 1,100 calories right there. So calories burned during physical activity, that's that number, okay? That number is going to change per day. That number is going to change whether if he walks or if he runs, okay? If he runs, that number is going to be up. That workout might change. Maybe he went a little, maybe, maybe he burned more. Maybe he burned less. But just for that day, for that particular day, 1,100 calories, okay? Now, you take his RMR, which is here, which is there. We've already calculated that, correct? You take his RMR, you add it to his calories that he burned, his total daily energy expenditure for that particular day, 3,620.55. Do you wanna know what that means? What that means is for that particular day, for that particular dude, doing that shit that he just did, he needs to be taking in 3,620.55 calories that day, on that particular day, okay? Ladies, ladies, here goes my avatar, avatar sis, okay? So, homegirl comes in and she works out and she burns 650 calories, okay? Homegirl burns 650 in her workout. She decides to work all day and then she's gotta get her cardio in, sounds like a lot of y'all that I know, and she's running. So she, she's, she's training for a half marathon, she's training for a Spartan race, she's training for a whole marathon, you know? She just wants to fucking run because she's stressed out and it makes her feel good, right? Whatever. So, she burns 600 calories on her run, all right? You take her workout, you take her cardio, you got 1,250 calories right there, okay? That is what she burned that day during her physical activity. You take that number plus her RMR, which we've already calculated right here for this avatar. Once again, it will be different if you put your numbers in there. Her TDEE is 322.50. On that particular day, that day, not every day, on that day, she needs to be taking in 3,220.5 calories, okay? Does that sound like a lot? It is a lot. Look at what she did that day. Look at the amount of work that she put in. This is a college athlete right here. This is, this, is, this is big time stuff. This is a college athlete. This is a professional athlete. You just went out and burned 1,200 calories, 1,300 calories working out. Just, just that, that's, that's at least three hours. That's at least three hours of intense effort right there. Not counting what you're burning being alive. Yes, you need to be taking in that many calories, okay? Now, the next day, you might not work out. You might not lift weights. The next day, you might walk. Maybe you don't do any of that. So that number is going to change. If that number is zero, this number is going to be different. Guys, if this number is half of that, this number is going to be different. So your ability to be flexible, okay, if it fits your macros, your ability to be flexible and mix and match is why counting macros is such a good strategy when it comes to you know your fitness, when it comes to weight loss, fat loss, and gaining muscle, because your schedule is gonna dictate how much you take in, okay? So some days you're gonna be eating like a horse. Some days your ass is working like a horse, so you need to eat that way, right? Some days you're not doing that much. On the days that you're not doing that much, you don't need to focus in on eating quite as much, okay? So listen, let me finish this off for you. All right, we got back down to what's our goals. So listen, when you're talking about your total daily energy expenditure, okay, and you're talking about that number that you see right here, remember, we can mix and match that, okay? If you're trying to do weight loss, typically, typically, in a day, safely, we're going to say to lose, uh, say a pound, say a half a pound to a pound a week, okay? Half a pound to a pound a week. If you're doing weight loss, you need to be in a caloric deficit of 250 to 500 pounds, okay? I mean, 250 to 500 calories. If you're doing fat loss, same deal. Just calories, okay? Muscle building, you need more. Muscle building, yeah, just more. Always remember that. If you're trying to gain, just more. If you're just doing it for maintenance, if you're just doing it for maintenance, if you just want to stay where you are, if you're happy with what you've got, if you just want to keep this boat rolling, your 
your calories and your total daily energy expenditure need to be the exact same. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. If you're working on weight loss and you're working on fat loss, you can subtract 250 to 500 calories depending upon how much you want to lose from your daily TDEE. You can do that every single day. So if it's the day that you're working like a horse, minus 250 or minus 500 or minus any number in between there. If it's the day that you're not quite working that hard, it's the same thing. Minus 250 to 500, somewhere in there. Guys, you're trying to build whatever that number is. You still want more. Ladies, same thing. If you're trying to build, you still want more. So. I don't care whether you're working like a horse or not. Whatever that fucking number is right there, you need more because you're trying to add, right? If you're trying to maintain, it's the same story. If you're not working that hard, whatever that TDE is, it needs to be equal to that, okay? It needs to be equal. So listen, let's do a, let's do, let's do a, let's, 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 let's let Avatar sis and, and Avatar, Avatar massive performance challenge take and sis. Let's, let's do her macros for her. Let's do this. So, and this is basic. This, this, this does not have to be yours. This does not have to be your template. This does not have to be the, the macro balance that you're using. If you wanna do something different, do something different. If it works better for you, it works better for you. Is this the one that I use for me? No, it's not. Is this the one that you're gonna see floating around some places? Some other people have different ideas. Just in general. In general, say you want to take in 30% of your daily calories in protein. Say you want to take in 20% of your daily calories in fat, and that leaves you 50% of your daily calories in carbohydrates, okay? Let's do a little math work. Let's do a little math work. Let's, 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 let's see how this thing plays out. All right, so we're going to work off our TDEE, right? Okay, so sis, you're taking in 322.50, okay? So with that being said, 30% of that number is going to give you what? 30% of that number is gonna give you this, okay? 30% of that number is gonna give you that. 20% of that number is gonna give you this. What's half of that number? That's that. So if you wanna know how many calories you're supposed to be taking in of that particular macronutrient, that's your number. Take your TDEE, boom. Take your TDEE, Boom, and you're multiplying by that number, okay? So you're taking that number, you multiply by 0 0.30. You take that number, you multiply by 0 0.20. You take that number, you multiply by 0 0.50, and you're gonna get the calories from that particular macronutrient that you should be taking in, okay? I want you to notice something. I want you to notice that alcohol is not on there. So if you are gonna add alcohol to that list and say you put alcohol on there, where you pick, where you drawing from? Where you drawing from? You gonna you gonna draw from those carbs? If your ass is busting your ass like that, you gonna take that from your carbs? Where's your energy gonna come from? You're still trying to maintain your muscle mass, though, right? You're still trying to be in good shape. You still wanna look good. What do the ladies say? I don't wanna lose this thing right here, right? You don't wanna lose that thing. You gonna take it from your protein? Really? You're not gonna take it from your protein either, okay? So most people. They see it break down into that, so they're gonna take it from their fat, okay? So if you're gonna mix and match, if you're gonna be flexible, if you're gonna adjust, then you're probably gonna adjust that number down to about 10, maybe 15, so you can compensate and so you can add that alcohol in there, all right? That's called being flexible. That's what you're gonna have to do if you still wanna have your lifestyle, because remember, fitness is a lifestyle thing. Unless you're getting ready for a competition, you're getting ready for a show, you have something that is front and center that needs to be done, it's a lifestyle thing. And if it's a lifestyle thing and you do want to drink, then you've got to add that in here if you still want to accomplish your goals, okay? All right, so we've got our calories. So you add these numbers up, that's going to get you this. These numbers are going to equal that, right? But we need to make sure that we're getting it in grams so it can correlate here, right? Now, how's that break down? Remember, there's four calories per one gram of protein. There's four calories per one gram of carbohydrates. There's nine calories per one gram of fat, okay? So we're gonna take this number here, okay? And we're gonna divide it by four. When you divide it by four, 242 point, I mean 242 grams. On that particular day, 
on that particular day when you're working out and you burn 650 calories, you run, you burn 600 calories, you're a 160 pound woman, you're five foot two and you're 30 years old, you need to be taking in 242 grams of protein that day. Avatar says needs to be taking in 72 grams of fat that day. Avatar says needs to be taking in 403 grams of carbs that day if she wants to get her backwards. Okay? That is only for Avatar Sis on days that she's doing this. If Avatar Sis cuts out 650 calories in her workout, all these numbers are gonna change. If Avatar Sis decides to cut out the run and do the walk and burns 200 less, all that's gonna change. If Avatar Sis decides to come out and not do shit, that's gonna change. That's the part of flexible dieting that I want you to understand. That's why macros are so cool, because you can adjust. So yeah, some days you're gonna eat more. Some days you're gonna eat less. That day that you go out and you work your ass off, you should just be blah. You gotta eat because you gotta fuel your body so you can do what you need to do. That next day, if you're off, you load it up, baby. Make your macros count. Find the numbers that you need according to what you're doing. Make it add up. Make it work for you, okay? It's simple, man. I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple. You gotta work with this. You're not gonna get it at first. It's gonna be hard because you, you've gotta learn how to mix and match. You've gotta learn what your balance is. You gotta know what it is that you really wanna do. That's why I keep saying to you guys over and over, what are your goals, man? What are your goals? If you wanna look like hot shit for a while, like you wanna look good, beach season is over. So if that's not it, then that's not it. You know, holiday season's coming up. We're taking a challenge right now in my classes. So if you wanna look good for Thanksgiving, that's gonna give you what, another two months? In two months, if you wanna look like hot shit on Thanksgiving, if you wanna look good as hell when you go to grandma's house on Christmas, you wanna look like the brand new you on New Year's Eve when you go out, you set your goals, that's gonna give you eight, 12, 16 weeks. Set your goals. Break down the protein, fat, and carb balance that you need to get what you want. You already know what your rest of metabolic rate is gonna be. You can plug that in. There's your workouts. That's where your calories are gonna come from. Your job every single day, your job every single day, as somebody who's caring enough to watch these videos, as somebody who actually gives a fuck enough to want to do this, that this is something that you care about, your job every single day, Monday through Sunday, is to figure out that number. Once you figure out your TDE, how much energy you're expending every day, this will fall into place. This will fall into place. You know damn well, you wanna lose weight, whatever that number is, I've gotta cut it per day, anywhere from 250 to 500 calories. You know if you're trying to bulk up, you're trying to put some size on, whatever that number is, for whatever avatar dude you are, it just needs to be more. Say 250, whatever. It needs to be more. If you're trying to stay at exactly where you are, and you are avatar sis, whatever that number is, for whatever day that is, your calories need to equal that number. Guys, it is that simple. Ladies, it is that simple. We can go over this again. Watch this video as much as you need. Once again, I, I don't know the French word. I think it's, I think it's Saint Joie. It's the Mifflin Saint Joie formula. That's where I got this from. That's how to calculate your RMR. I know Ace, uh, they use that uh, as their standard formula for when they're doing RMR. There are others. You can use the one for your BMR too. It's a little bit more complicated, but the numbers work out to be about the same. You can use a standard issue RMR calculator. You can go anywhere on, on Google, Bing, and find that and plug and play with your numbers. But you need your RMR. You need to find out how much your workload is per day. And the most important one, that's gonna give you this number, okay? You're always adding those two. You're always adding those two to find out exactly how many calories you need per day. Some days it's gonna be higher, some days it's gonna be lower, okay? What are your goals? I talk to you guys about this all the time in here. That's why we write in our notebooks. People who train with me, people who train at Massive Performance, they have these notebooks. 
And when you bring your notebook in, I have a big stack of notebooks over there that I have to go over this weekend. I ask you to write your goals down. We've been tracking protein for a while. What everyone in this building is gonna be doing, starting next week, they're gonna come in, they're gonna have these three. They're gonna give me the total number, percentage-wise, that they wanna take in for their goals. It doesn't have to look this way, it can be different. And every single day, every single day, until we get to the 90th day, every single day, every single day, we're gonna track our macros. We're gonna track our macros. Because I wanna take this trip with you. I, and I wanna see if people are really about the shit that they say that they're about. Because if you are, I'm gonna tell you, the people who turn their notebooks in, like that stack of notebooks over there, the people who turn those in the first three or four times, every single person who was on it, every single person who was writing down what they ate, when they ate it, how they felt, how much protein they were getting, whether it was a refined carb or unrefined carb, Every single person who was that meticulous in their notebook has achieved their 30 day goal. Every single one of them, I kid you not. So if you wanna know the secret, if you wanna know how am I supposed to get the goals that I want, you gotta be dedicated, man. Look, you got a plan. You got a plan. You know the information, you know the information. You know how many calories you need uh, to get by. You know how many calories are in protein. You know how many calories per gram is fat. You know what alcohol does. You know what your macro balance does to your body, okay? You know what your goal is. You know if you're trying to gain weight, lose weight. You know if you're trying to gain fat, lose fat. You know if you're trying to maintain. All you gotta do is plug and play. You know your numbers. You know what kind of avatar you are, okay? You know what your workouts are gonna look like. If you're doing a challenge, you know damn well you got three days of 45 minute walks. Some of you guys have goals where you wanna run like two or three miles a day. So boom, you know your workouts, you know your cardio, you're gonna know what that is. You know your arm bar. There is no reason, there is no reason if you are consistent, if you are dedicated, if you really care, that you're not gonna reach your goals, okay? And I know you can do it. I see you guys in here working. People that aren't even in here training with me, you don't have to be from Virginia. You can be halfway across the world. This is YouTube. This is it. You can go listen to some guru. They can, you know, talk some more stuff. There's a lot of people that know more than me, trust me. I don't know everything. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not gonna to pretend to know that. But what I will tell you is that I know enough to write this down, to study it, to let you know that if you are doing this, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be okay. Get your notebook. If, you, if you're training with me, you already know about the notebook. If you're not training with me, if you're not in the gym, I'm not telling you to come train with me. You can go train wherever the hell you wanna go train at. You feel comfortable somewhere? Go work out there. Do yourself a favor, get a notebook. Just a regular, degular, plain ass notebook. Get the notebook, write down everything that you eat, write down what time you ate it, write down how you felt. Once you get used to doing that and you get comfortable, all you have to do is plug and play. Plug and play. All your goals are gonna come through if you have the ability just to track it, to be patient, and to be diligent. All right? So look, I think I'm up to 32 subscribers. Thank you, I appreciate it. I told my son I would get to 30 like the last time too and I did, so he still owes me like 15 push-ups. Tywin James, I'm gonna get my push-ups, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get them. Listen, I need more subscribers. I wanna keep this thing going, all right, guys? I appreciate everybody that's joined in. I appreciate you guys that haven't subscribed yet but are still watching the videos. We're getting more views every single week. Thank you. If you like what you see, if you like what you hear, Go to the channel, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me. And if you're in the area, Tri-Cities area, Chesterfield County, the surrounding areas, massive performance. Get your ass in here. Come join the tribe. Massive mafia, massive mamas. We are getting it. You are welcomed here, okay? Hey, we got shirts coming, right? I've been waiting to say that. Guys, your shirts are coming out Monday too. You're gonna like them. You're gonna like them, all right? But look, I'm out of here. It's getting dark. I got to go home. I got to go play with my kids. I'm in dad mode. Got to go be flexible. Thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you next time.